Snap. The crazy mixed up world of Robert Smith has given us great music, lyrics and lipstick for nearly 20 years. Over 23 million album sales later, The Cure has survived without compromise. No one really that's, that's been going as long as us that's kind of stayed true to what they really want to do. It's like there's a lot, of, well, there's a few groups that have, that have had longevity or artists that have had longevity, but generally they kind of, they're, they're rubbish, a lot of them. Their 10th album, Wild Mood Swings, out last month has reached number 9 in the charts, but this fickle frontman just doesn't care for competition. It kind of sets you up with, the, with the, this mental attitude that you're somehow in competition. And I've never really, I've never been able to fathom that. I kind of, I'd like what we do, I like what Smashing Pumpkins do, I like what Radiohead does. It's um, a bit baffling for me, but you know, who's the best band in the world? The second single from Wild Mood Swings is released today. I really don't think it gets any better than this. Known for his own mood swings, Robert was on a high when he wrote this track. Deliriously happy, as I am today. It's difficult, because when you're really happy, you don't want to write a song, or I don't, because I'm happy, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, I better stop now and like, try and capture this moment. And it must be quite difficult to tell whether he's happy, but one thing's for sure, he enjoyed making the video. I get to wear like hats and moustaches and such, which I've always wanted to do. But there's no disguising the icon that it is Robert Smith. Here with you, it's perfect. You can catch up with The Cure on the remaining UK dates of their world tour in December to hear the band that has never tried to fit in. At least we aspire to do things that have like got some kind of depth to them. And, that, and music that I like has that. It has to kind of make me feel something.